Welcome to this quick tutorial on how to make sleeve print mockups on Simply Listed for your products. So creating a template, there are a few things you need to know about making a template for a sleeve print product. So here I already created a template on Simply Listed. If you're not familiar with what Simply Listed is, it is a fully automated mockup system where you can build a template of mockups. You'll put on your print areas like this to show us where the design from Printify will go. And then when you actually use this template, you will just click it, tell us which design you'd like to make the mockups for, and then we will make the mockups for you. So here I will test it and show you with this particular example, what it looks like when we pull that design from Printify and put it on your mockup for you. Now we very soon will also have an option to make mockups for products that are not from Printify. So stay tuned for that. But right now this is a tutorial specifically for making mockups for Printify products. So you can see here, it pulled my design from Printify and put it on the front of the sweatshirt and from the sleeve and it even turned the sleeve sideways. So here, this is the wrong sleeve. So we'll go over that. You can see it added it here to this sleeve and added it here. So I made a couple of mistakes just to show you guys what to watch out for when creating your mockups. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that you need to know about making sleeve print templates for Simply Listed is that Simply Listed has a limitation with it currently that we are looking to overcome. But what it is, is that the design on Printify can't go outside of the print area. So right now, do you see how this design, the green box, goes all the way up and down the sleeve. It's not going outside of the print area. So the problem becomes if you design your sleeve prints on your normal size canvas, say for the front of the sweatshirt, and it's a big box like this, and it goes outside of the print area, then Simply Listed isn't going to be able to make this design correctly for you. See how the green area is going outside of it? So for right now, before we find a fix, you do need to make your designs for the sleeve prints in the size of the sleeve print area. Here on Printify, you can click this I information box at the top and it will tell you the print area size. This one specifically is for Swift POD for the Gildan 18,000. So it's 1181 by 4724. So coming over to Canva, that's what this is going to look like. And so this is the bottom of the sleeve. This is the top. So if you wanted the uh, text to go up and down, you would just save it exactly how you want it to look once it's uploaded to Printify. If you already made your sleeve print design on a different size canvas, you can resize it very easily by clicking this resize button here in Canva. Um, if you don't use Canva, it you know I'm sure the other softwares have something similar. And you can go ahead and tell it that you want to resize this design to a different size instead of the size that it is. So right now it must be still loading or else it would let me resize this design. So this is how you want your designs to look, is exactly how they are. So if you want it pretty big, make sure it goes all the way side to side basically on your sleeve. That way you don't have to make it any bigger once you get it into Printify. So if that's mine, example is a little bunny and the name. So that way now when you upload that design to Printify, it completely fills the print area and is in exactly the right spot. So I hope that makes sense so far. So coming over to the simply listed template. Let's look at this first example. So starting from scratch, this is one of the most popular mockups to use for sleeve prints on the Gildan 18,000. You will see this across tons of different bestsellers. And I think this is from this store on Etsy called Simple Mocks. So that is an important thing to note if you didn't know. Simply Listed does require you to bring your own mockups to Simply Listed. And so the first thing you do when you're in your template, so hopefully you've already started creating your template. If you didn't already, I'll go back here a step. You would say new template, select Printify. You would select the Gildan 18,000. You would select that product. And then here you do need to 
select the print provider that matches the product exactly in Printify. So this is a mistake a lot of people make on accident. So let me go back and show you. So here in Printify, mine says Swift POD Gildan 18,000. Some people accidentally choose the Gildan 18,500 or have Printify choice here and do it different on Simply Listed. So if you go to use your template and it shows there's nothing matching, please go check that this matches on Printify. So the next thing you need to do is choose the size. So this is the size print area. So always do size large. And then here you'll just click choose files and upload the mockups that you have for your template. Uh, it will make all of the photos the same size as the first image that you upload. So if you'd rather, you can make it say like 2700 by 2700 and then upload each photo individually, but I do recommend saving all your photos on say Canva, the same size, edited already, and then uploading them all at once is my best recommendation. So that's how you create a template. Then once your images are in here and they're blank, what you'll do is click this print area button, and this is going to pull up all of the print areas from Printify. So back, front, sleeve, right sleeve, neck. Now, if you don't see one of these that you're looking for, then you might have made your template with the wrong print provider because it will only pull the print areas from the print provider you selected on Printify. So again, I'm going to delete these just so I can show you how to do this. So I'm gonna add the front print. On a Gildan 18,000, the print area is very large. So please keep that in mind when you compare to Printify. If I go edit this design, you'll see the print area is very big. Like here's the neckline. The print area goes all the way over here. So if you think about this actually wrapping around someone's body, this is very large. So side to side, making this a little bigger, the whole print area is 14 inches. And so that is a pretty big space. And so please keep that in mind when you make these. You do want to lower the opacity slightly, see this transparency button. Um, you'll see that once you're clicked onto it. And then the last thing you need to do is tag the color. So when you're clicked on the print area, this will be green. If you're not clicked on the print area, that's why it's grayed out. So click the print area and tag your color. This way, if you put say a lighter color design on the black sweatshirt and a darker color design on the sand sweatshirt, we will grab it from the correct one on Printify. So then we need to add the print. So the sleeve, make sure you're adding it to the correct sleeve. So you'll see here, the left sleeve is where I have my design, not the right sleeve. And so that again needs to match. So it is the left sleeve that I'm going to add. Um, this I see people get tripped up with a lot because the mockups are mirror image. So just make sure you know, okay, this is her left hand, not her right hand. So then here, this is going to look kind of weird, but if you notice, this is the exact same size as the print area for the sleeve. That's what we're pulling from. And so now we want to lower its opacity before we move it because that's easier and also tag the color. And so what we need to do to match where this would actually be in real life is one, it needs to be on the outside sleeve. You'll see a lot of mock-ups where the mock-up is of the inside of the arm of the sleeve. Printify will print it on the outside of the sleeve. So make sure you're using mock-ups with the outside of the sleeve. We need to rotate this to match. See how we've made it upside down now basically? Because that is how it is actually put on here. So make sure you actually turn it upside down using this rotate button or else it won't show the design how it's actually going to be printed. And then we need to make it the size that the print area actually is. So again, looking at Printify, you know, it's kind of not the best example. So let's click on the preview and look at the, the sleeve. So here you can see the sleeve when it's actually flat, it basically goes completely side to side. And so that's kind of what we want to emulate here. So I'm gonna put this up a little bit higher because if you notice on Printify, it's like two or three inches probably away from the cuff. So you just wanna kind of go back and forth and make sure it really makes sense. So about right there is probably exactly where it needs to be. And then you're all set. If you only make designs where it's right here at the bottom, then you're done. You don't need to crop this print area at all. Now, if your sleeve is going to be longer and you do want to crop it, you can use this crop button where, oops, now you may need to move this so you can reach it. You can crop this to be 
shorter to kind of cut off at a certain point if you need it to. But anytime you use our crop feature, you do need to click the reposition button because now you see it's gonna show this middle section. You do need to tell it, okay, I want you to show the bottom section and then you have to click apply image. And now if your design's longer than the sleeve, then it won't extend past it. So that's how you would do a mock-up for this type of one. But let's talk about one that's a little bit more complicated like this, where the sleeve actually goes over the print area in the middle because that can be a little bit more complex. So to make these, you have to do a little bit of prep in something like Canva. So let me go pull that up here. So let's say you have this mock-up or any of the mock-ups where something's overlapping the design. What you'll do is you're gonna create a design file. It's not letting me select it. On top, see how this has a cutout for where the design's gonna be? So you're gonna have two files. You'll have the back file that's normal and see this front file only has the sleeves. So when I make a file like that and upload it, you can see here, I have the full print area behind it and then now I'm adding this on top of it so that it covers up what I don't want it to show. So I hope that makes sense. And I'll show you how to make this if you use Canva really quickly. So I'll delete this one. So you need the original file. It is easiest if you make sure you save this file and make it in the exact same size so you don't have to resize it. So you'll click duplicate on your mockup. And then the next step you need to do is click the background remover and then click the background remover one more time. And now you get access to this erase tool. So it might take some trial and error to figure out what you need to erase, but essentially what I'm trying to do is erase everything but the sleeves because I want the sleeves to overlap where my design is. So I'm not gonna do this perfect, but I'll just kind of show you quickly. I would go a little slower and probably zoom in if I was making this for real but I'm just gonna delete everything but what I want to go on top of my design. So that way when you put this transparent part over top of the first print area, then it will show just the design through it. So I hope that's making sense. But this will come in handy if you're trying to put hair or a necklace in front of your design in Simply Listed. And you only have to do this once Simply list will put this over top of your design every other time after you make the initial template. So now it's done. So you have to exit out of this and then you would delete your background image and then save this as a transparent PNG. So PNG with a transparent background and click download. So that's how you make one of those. So what you do here in, can in a Simply Listed, I'll just move this to the side, is we do the same thing. We add the print area, and we name it sand, lower the opacity, and we put it where we want it. And then you would add in this as the second layer to go over top of it, make sure it's lined up right. And then lastly, you would add this print area for the sleeve on top of it. So now you can kind of see this layering effect. And if you click on this, you'll see this little layered elements button. And so if you need to click one of the layers beneath it, that's how you can select it. So you'll see that. And so that's how you create these. So for example, this one right here, you know, I hope you notice, oops, I didn't mean to do what I just did. I deleted the top layer. So when you look at this one, if you notice when I made the test mockup for it, and I'll uh, just go back and show you the test mockup now that you've kind of seen this in action. I'll show you the mistakes again. So you'll see this one, see how the design is upside down just like it would be in real life, perfect. This one, see the mistake that I made is this is the wrong sleeve. I made this for the right sleeve, not the left sleeve. See how this one, the design is kind of behind the sleeve a little bit, just like it should be. And then down here, the design's in the right spot tilted just a little bit. And then this last one, I would have needed to erase everything but this top sleeve 
for the top layer that I made to make this work correctly. And so those are the few things that you might kind of run into as an issue. So if you're not seeing your design for your sleeve print, make sure you used the correct sleeve print left or right. And then also please double check that you didn't make it upside down in the wrong way, um, like this, where I tilted this one. So the letter should be upside down if the print area is upside down. And then make sure if you cropped that print area that you cropped it correctly. But again, please tag the colors of both print areas if you think you might do a different color on them. So like this one's a perfect example. If I was actually selling this design, this is the right color for all three of these. But for the black, I would remake this design to have, say, the word Haley be in white instead and resave it. And so I'll show you that really quick. Might as well kind of go through the, the whole process just so you can kind of see it all in action. So let's save this one as a transparent PNG and download it. And then when I come back over here, I would click make a specific design for black and I would delete this one and I would actually upload. And then now if I save this product and actually save the changes, if I come back to Simply Listed and make sure that the black is, well, I guess I didn't have this one on the right sleeve, so it won't show you, but either way, if I have it tagged black, now it will pull the black print area instead of the sand print area and it'll put the correct design on the correct color. So I hope that this was so, so helpful. Let us know if you have any questions down in the comments or if you want us to make tutorials for any other types of products. And we hope that you love using Simply Listed. If you haven't signed up just yet, what are you waiting for? There's a seven day free trial for you down in the description below.